Welcome on in here this Friday afternoon. We want you to get cozy with us because March Madness has officially taken over Indianapolis. The city is hosting both first and second round games. Yeah, the party is underway and that of course means downtown is going to be the epicenter of all the fun and excitement and we have live team coverage. Logan Gay is out at Bicentennial Unity Plaza, but let's begin with Dom Miranda who is live at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Hey Dom. You can feel the buzz and the excitement here in downtown Indy at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, the epicenter of it all. You're exactly right. The madness of March is shining down on the Purdue Boilermakers as they get set to take on Grambling State, the 16th seed, in just over three hours' time. Look, this is a focused group right now, guys, especially after the disappointment of last NCAA tournament losing to Fairleigh Dickinson. But this team, they've used that as motivation and worked extremely hard to get back in the exact same position they were a year ago right here in Indy in front of a huge Purdue contingent. We got a chance to hear from the Boilers ahead of this matchup. Head coach Matt Painter saying playing close to home is only an advantage when you're playing well. It is pretty cool for us to be a one seed last year and then to fight to get back here to be a one seed and to be able to play in Indianapolis and to play in front of your fans. So, um, but we got to do our part, right? I always say that when you have a good fan base or you, you know you have a full house, you know you, you, you still have to play well for that to be an advantage. If you don't play well, they're not an advantage because they have nothing to cheer about. So, you know, we're hoping to do our job and give them a lot to cheer about. 725 tip, Purdue and Grambling. And look, these Boilermakers are looking to prove a lot of people wrong or prove a lot of people right, depending on how you look at it. Look, keep it locked here on 13. We're going to be live here at Gamebridge at 5 and 6. I know Dustin Grove's excited about the Purdue Boilermakers, but we'll send it back to you. Yeah. And how, how would you know, Dom? It's not like I've been talking about it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look forward to seeing you again at 5 o'clock. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so uh, Felicia, I walked into the newsroom today with my what I like to call my pea pants. If you look very closely in that picture, I've got about two dozen Purdue peas on those pants. Yes, you do. And matching gym shoes. Gym shoes and the uh, Purdue... Purdue windbreaker and the Purdue Hawaiian shirt under there. So we're in my your Purdue moment. pride. This is it. I'm telling you. This, this is, is your is, moment. We're the, not gonna. We're not gonna. This. You take it. This is the most <laughs> wonderful time of the year. And if I have to hear Fairleigh Dickinson one more time, <laughs> let's move on. Right? <laughs>